Hi guys, how you doing? I'm photographer Matthew Jordan Smith, and I'm always taking pictures in the studio to make people look their best. But sometimes we all need just a little bit of help. Today, I'm going to show you some tricks that can help you make better pictures no matter who you're working with. So, today we have Miss Kelly, and you're looking fabulous already. I have the light here. We're using one simple light. I'm going to take your portrait. The first picture is going to look great, but I want to do one small tweak that's going to make it even better. So we've done our reading already. We have our light reading. We're setting our camera to be exactly the same as the reading. There we are. And we'll do our portrait. Wow. Do me a favor and just take your hair like this on the back of your hair again. There, that's great. That's nice. Beautiful, that's nice. We'll check the picture, but when you start using a light meter, you don't have to check it, because you already know that everything's right. And sure enough, it's perfect. So, we're taking our picture. Miss Kelly, you look fantastic. Oh, wow, just like that. Now breathe and let that smile go. Ah, that feels good, doesn't it? Love that, beautiful. Now, while this picture looks great, you do look amazing here. I love this, but one small addition can change it in a major way. So we're going to change this picture by adding a reflector board versus a white card. So here we are without our fill. This is a soft silver fill. So this is a little bit more than a white card. Here we are with it. Here we are without. Here we are with it. Here we are without. Now look closely at the shadows under her chin, under her eyes, and even her eyes. Now here we are without and with. Here we are without, and here we are with it. I can add it just a tad more by going up just a little bit. But I think that's good right there. Now, this small difference is going to make a huge difference in the picture. Her eyes come alive. The shadows under her chin comes, goes away. And then even under her eyes, that gets filled out. Ah, oh, now that's incredible right there, just like that. Beautiful. Look at that smile. Wow, now this is the cover of Mademoiselle. Fantastic. Just like that. Beautiful. You are glowing now. Love that. Love that. Bring your face a tad this way for me, right there. That's lovely. Lovely. Ah, this can be the cover of any fashion magazine now. Fantastic. So this little addition of a soft silver fill opens up the shadows under the chin and also the dark circles under the eyes. Because let's face it, we all have them just a little bit. But now I can go into perfectly clear and use raccoon eyes and make it even better. All right, guys, now we're going to go through and edit in Photoshop as a smart object. I have my shot here. We're working on taking the dark circles out from under the eyes on the shot. We're going to go to Photo, Edit In, Open as Smart Object in Photoshop. By going into Photoshop and making this a smart object, I have the option to go back in and retouch this or change it anytime in the future without destroying my original. This is wonderful. So now that we're in Photoshop, I can go through and go to Filter, Athentech, Perfectly Clear Complete. Now in Complete, you'll find all the presets for the eyes and a lot more. Perfect exposure, perfect eyes, perfect skin, etc. So today we're going to work with the raccoon eyes. 
Wow, just by hitting the preset, this really cleans this up quite a bit. This is before, this is after. All I did was hit the Raccoon Eyes preset and it really makes it quite nice. Let's go in close by hitting the Z key. This is before, this is after. It sharpens the eye and takes away any of the darkness under the eyes away. I can adjust this even more by going to my adjustments, take my dark circles adjustment up a little bit more if I want. That's really nice. I can also take my eye enhancement down if I want just a little bit. Right in there. That looks great, guys. I'll hit my Z key again. You can see before, after. Before, after. And a close-up version of that again. Before, after. Before, after. This is a great tool to use and changes everything so easily. I'm gonna close this now, hit my return key. It saves the filter. In the future, if I ever wanna go back and make any adjustments, I just hit my smart filter, double click it, and I can go right back and go where I was just now and make any tweaks, more or less. I'll close this one file, save it. I go back to Lightroom now and I have, I have my before there and my after. My before and my after. Now back in Lightroom. And we're done.